Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial episode. My name is William Juma. In this video, I want us to talk about Bladewind UI. And Bladewind UI is a collection of components that can be used in a Laravel application. Bladewind UI is made on Tailwind CSS and vanilla JavaScript. So let us go ahead and see how to install it and probably look at some of the components as we continue on in this episode. I have a new installation of a Laravel application and this is Laravel 10. And I want us to just in terminal be able to install Bladewind UI. The page in this case where we have the documentation of Bladewind UI is bladewindui.com. And I want us to see how to be in a position to install. So we are going to install the package using Composer. I'm going to copy this line, Composer require MKO Cansi Bladewind. I'm going to paste it inside our terminal to install it. We have successfully been able to install the package. I want us to continue with a little bit more setup. We also need to publish the Bladewind uh, files. So in this case, I'm going to have uh, this command and you can see it is publishing the assets. We can be able to see the assets when we look at public, in the public directory vendor. And inside here we have uh, Bladewind. So you have the CSS, you have the icons, you have the images, you have the JavaScript, all that. After that, we need to include the links, in this case, the CSS and so on and so forth in our um, a blade in this case our blade file so i'm going to open the blade file which we have in our resources views in this case welcome to blade.php and here i want us to include the css for the bladewind ui so we are going to in, in, in include uh, several things so the first one is um this uh, first line so we can be able to copy the css and paste it here and then we can also copy javascript and also paste it here and then we can also copy the animation and paste it here and of course we can go ahead these are these are there's a problem with the last pasting so this one maybe we can just remove the comment and then we can also paste. So we have the JavaScript helpers. And then lastly, we can also be able to use to include Alpine JS. And this is if you will be using the calendar uh, selector. So in this case, that is the reason why we have it here. I want us to go ahead and now try and see if we can be able to have a component. So let me just copy this button and I'm going to paste it somewhere within our page. And remember this page is actually made using Tailwind CSS. So any project that you can be able to have to use having Tailwind CSS, you can be able to use the Bladewind UI. In fact, if you check for this uh, package that is called filament, the one that has the admin panel, you will find that one of the dependencies is Bladewind UI. So in other, way, in other words, filament PHP actually uses Bladewind UI to be able to do those nice interfaces that you can be able to find. And you can be able to use this with Jetstream, any application in this case where Tailwind CSS is installed, you can be able to use these components and so i want us to maybe clear some of uh, the things maybe I, I can clear this one here the the beginning of this div or maybe instead of that we can just have it somewhere after the body so let me just have it here we can just have it here we can paste the button and save and i want us to try and refresh and see now you can see we have a nice button so basically that is how you can be able to use it you can see it displaying perfectly well and then of course there are so many other things that you can be able to look at if you look at this sidebar 
we have avatar, we have alerts, we have the bell, we have buttons, we have debt picker, and debt picker is the one that we were including the Alpine JS for. And we have the inputs, the list view, many other things, progress bar, spinners, text area, verification code. Basically, that is how you can be able to use Bladewind UI in your Laravel application to be able to do and put some nice styling and components in your application. Thank you very much.